How do you end migration headaches? Every data center at some point in their lives and probably multiple times in their lives is going to have new equipment come in and they're going to have to move old data to new data. Now, so how do you do that? Well, there's a couple reasons why this might happen, right? If it's a, uh, for example, a hard disk array, you might be out of performance. Uh, if it's a network attached uh, storage system or a file server, uh, you might be out of capacity. And so you need a new system to come in. And so the typical way to do this, right, is you probably today would go out and buy an all flash array. And you'd use some sort of utility to do sort of a block copy over. Uh, in the NAS world, you might uh, buy a, a, a scale out NAS and again do the same thing and start to copy things over. Now, of course, it's not just the copying of data. You've got to go in and reset application settings and user settings and all these different things to be able to manage this. And of course, all of this has been compounded because now we also have this thing called the cloud and we might want to move data to the cloud at, at different points in time. So how do we manage that in a better way? Because the problem is we're seeing new technology come all the time. And, and the real answer is to just eliminate migration. What we need is a flow so that you can put a piece of software in that sort of acts as a metadata uh, engine. And then it manages the location of everything in the environment. So then if you come in and now add another flash array, You can have a policy that says, okay, all net new change data starts going here. I don't need to migrate it necessarily off of the all flash array. Or if I do need to maybe free up capacity there, I can uh, specifically pick some folders and move them over. And this metadata engine updates all the servers that are out here so they don't have to be changed as a result of doing this, right? And that also includes, let's say I've got a, a project or something on that all flash array that I'm done with, and now I want to move it to the cloud, I can do that automatically. On the NAS side, it also does some interesting things as well, because now I can eliminate the idea of having a scale out NAS if I wanted to. I could just keep buying uh, traditional scale up NASs and automatically just have data flow between these things to based, uh, based on need or whatever. So the key is to have something that can manage metadata and it manages data placement for you, allows you to set policy maybe, but it really does the movement of data and then that way your front end applications don't need to change. They're just talking to what they think is the same mountain point all the time. So that's really the key. To eliminate migration headaches, you gotta eliminate migration. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.